All right, hope you're having a great day so far. We're gonna get into a little tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys about 808s using my favorite website, splice.com. So you're gonna go to splice. First of all, you're gonna click the link below in the description. There's something right here, splice.com slash VIP slash Leezy the Gifted. You can go down there, sign up for splice. Splice is an amazing tool that'll get you all the sounds you need. So we're gonna go to, so you're gonna go sign up here. It's like eight bucks a month, nothing expensive, and I get a few free sounds out of it if you sign up. Trust me, you're gonna wanna do this, all right? So you go um, splice.com, we're gonna hit sounds. Now, we today are going to do an 808 tutorial. Now, what's really dope is I just saw a pack that I'm really interested in, but I typed 808. Look what popped up, Boy Wanda. You guys know who Boy Wanda is? Boy Wanda is the dude who produced Drake's album. If you're reading this, it's too late. I mean, I'm for sure want to get some stuff from him. Damn, that's so crazy. Such a dope cover, too. Damn. That's so wild. So, we're not going to go too crazy. I just want to find a quick 808. Let's turn it up for you. Let me put this through the uh, Scarlet speakers. Now, if you don't have headphones on, by the way, put some headphones on because this is going to be harder to do without. All right, perfect. We're just going to go right here quick. Dope. Now, this is already in C. I'm going to find another one as well. Just looking for, let's look for instruments. Maybe bass. It's probably. All right, dope. Oh. Oh. Oh, I like that one. I like all of these. Uh, that, that one I like the most. All right, let's go. We're going to use this one. All right, cool. So let's hop on over to Logic. So we're going to use a tool called the EXS Sampler. Let me just delete this. All right, so we're going to hit plus, software instrument, EXS Sampler, mono. You're only doing mono because for your 808, you want your 808 to be able to be heard and you want your 808 to be in the middle of the mix for melodic instruments I'll do those stereo so that they can split off but for the um, 808 I do mono so then we click right you saw where I click right here in the middle then we're gonna click this edit button now if you don't have that edit button which I know a lot of people don't have it happens because you probably ripped it haha <laughs> we're gonna go logic pro uh, let's see here I think we're hitting preferences advanced tools you're gonna check all of these off and hit enable all that's that's what I would do all right so we're here hit edit great so now we're gonna go to our splice icon and we're gonna find the sounds that we just downloaded what they at what they at what they at hey we're gonna use this one so here's what you do it's so easy you click it and you drag it and let it go great great now if you play if you start playing it now the next thing we're going to do though is we're, we are going to hit uh, we're going to hit group right here new group drag this in there then we're going to hit groups this is important poly max poly one what is max po that's polyphony so let's say it was max that means that when i hit a note it's going to carry over to the next note. Like they're both playing, but when you hit polyphony like this, that also, let's turn this up. So when I hit the next one, the other one stops previous to it, all right? We're gonna click out of it and save it. I wanna just bring this up. So this is called Boy Wanda uh, 808. Uh, I'll just put it in, in D. So, so save so so boy one how the hell do you spell boy wanda oh it's all one word okay boy wanda 808 and put d that's the key it's in all right so the next part's very 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 crucial so i'm gonna pull up my keyboard so that you can see um the notes so the next thing you're you're gonna want to do is you want to tune your 808 this is super important because right here I'm hitting the C, but that's not actually C, right? Remember when it said that the that the 808 was D? See that? That means that you're starting like this is D, which is going to be really confusing because this is not D, this is C. So here's how you do it. 
We're going to hit audio effects. We're going to go to metering and we're going to go to tuner. All right? And let's see if I'm right because I might be wrong. See how it says D? Now it was C at first. D. This right here. Now this is actually a D. But when I play it, it's E. See how it's all moved over? So how do you fix that? Well, this is very simple. We're going to click back to our EXS sampler. And we're going to hit right here, tune. So let's go. Let's move this over. We're going to go. Okay, so now it's D. So I think we're going to go that way. Nope, wrong way. We're going to go one more. Maybe. Let's try one more. Nope, this is good. Mm, just about right. Let's see. This is a little difficult. That's okay. Let's try. I wonder what. No, that's not. That's not gonna work. I don't know what any of that does. I'm not messing with it. I think this right here. Dope. That's pretty much it. I mean, that's it's not going to be perfect, but that's right around what you want. So now this is C, D. Really hoping you guys can hear it. So here's what we're going to do now. Now we're going to move to a melodic instrument here. Okay, so this here is a little FM piano. In fact, I'm going to bring up a lo-fi. No, this is good, actually. This is bright enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a really simple chord progression. I'm gonna play what's called two, five, one, which in this case, I'm not gonna get specific, but in this case, it's D. See right here, D minor. G, and then C, all right? You know that'll work fine now what I'm gonna do too is for this purpose I'm gonna EQ and take the low end out I'll keep the high end in for now you, you usually don't want to do that um, actually you know what for this let's do it just so it's not in the way I mean usually I would do it like that right because you I want to really I want you to really be able to hear it okay let's bring the keyboard back up by the way, if you ever want to do this, you could just hit Apple K and your keyboard will pop up. Like right now I'm playing on my keyboard on my um, computer. Like if you don't have a keyboard, like if you don't, if you can't afford one, like, like just don't even trip about it. Like you could just, you could do this. But I mean, I, I suggest you get a keyboard. All right. So, so now, so here's what a lot of people get the misconception of an 808 is not a drum. An 808 is more like a bass. It's derived a lot more. It's kind of a combination between a kick drum and a bass guitar. So an 808 is a melodic instrument. Now, a lot of people think, no, it's not. You know, it, it adds to the rhythm. It's very low end. It's, it's part of the drums. And I mean, mixing wise, it definitely is. But when you're talking about songwriting, which means actually making the chords and coming up with the song, you want to think of the 808. It's like if you were to play a bass. Right? A bass guitar is not a drum. And so you got to basically have a tiny bit of music theory going on. So here's what you would do. I played D, G, and then C. This is a super basic way to do this. So D, G, C. Got it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play corresponding 808s. D, G, C. Let's see if I can catch something. You could try, let me try some. You know, I mean, honestly, that's not like the dopest thing of all time, but. Let's tune, let's, you know. Let's EQ it really quick and see how that.
funcionan. I mean, it sounds like really crappy, but like you get the... Let's do it again. There we go. Just kind of a weird 808, but usually 808s carry longer, but... There we go. So... Now your 808 is going to match up. And by the way, um, you know, I'm really sorry. I skipped something. So let's hear how this 808 sounds without an EQ. Too much high end. So you're going to click your EQ like I just did. I'm going to hit analyzer. See what pops up. You don't want anything past 200. So we're going to click right here. Right? You could click the dot or you can click up here. It doesn't matter. Then I'm going to click these lines. See how now I have two arrows? Boom. I'm gonna even go a little further. Take a little bit of the low end out. Probably boost it up there. Probably boost it up there. Yup. And that's how you make 808s. Dope. Hey, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, do me a favor, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click below and do that. Click below, give this video a like comment on it um i'd really like to see some engagement i'd really like to keep interacting with a lot more artists because you know i'm an artist myself and my goal is to help you succeed and get through your roadblocks all right so have an amazing rest of your day i'll see you on the next video peace